We have fallen heirs to the most glorious heritage a people ever received, and each one must do his part if we wish to show that the nation is worthy of its good fortune. We have, in fact, destroyed much of our natural heritage, the habitats that nurture the creatures of the wild. But we have the power, working together, to restore what has been lost. The National Fish and Wildlife Foundation has worked for nearly 25 years to become the leader in conservation investments by sustaining, restoring, and enhancing our nation's wildlife and habitat. Through almost one and a half billion dollars and nearly 10,000 grants with the support of committed partners, we create and strengthen initiatives that have real impact. These are four highlights. Projects on the West Coast are restoring habitat for Pacific salmon. Volunteers plant vegetation to cool and filter streams. Logs and other woody debris create pools and rapids. New irrigation technology maintains a higher water flow in streams and rivers. These techniques result in healthier stream environments. More salmon live to reach their spawning areas, and more young salmon thrive. On Padre Island National Seashore on the Texas coast, we are collaborating with the Shell Marine Habitat Program, re-establishing a nesting colony for Kemp's Ridley sea turtles. Volunteers and staff monitor and protect the sea turtles' nests, assist stranded adults, and ensure that offspring have a better chance of making their instinctive way to the beckoning sea. The magnificent whooping crane came perilously close to extinction. To restore a migrating population to the eastern U.S., we have supported best practices in raising young in captivity. Once successfully raised, these juvenile cranes must be taught how to migrate. Ultralight surrogate parents lead young cranes on their journey from Wisconsin to Florida. Once led, the cranes can make the trip independently. Preserving the land that serves as habitat is critical. Acres for America, created with founding partner Walmart, provides funding for projects that acquire interest in real property. Wetlands in Louisiana, an Arkansas cave, ranch lands on the rim of the Grand Canyon, forests in Maine, as well as land that connects wilderness areas in an effort to ensure safe migrations. These are just a few initiatives, and these are the measurable outcomes. With an investment of $2.3 million in Washington State, more than 1,500 miles of stream have been improved. In one river alone, the number of salmon increased by roughly 70%. The number of Kemp's Ridley turtle nests on the Texas coast has increased from fewer than 10 to a record 102 in 2006. The number of hatchlings released annually has multiplied from 2,400 to more than 20,000 thanks to $1.1 million worth of collaborative commitments. A decade ago, there were no migrating whooping cranes in the east with $2.1 million a nearly endangered flock of 54 stands a good chance of full recovery. With $74 million, Acres for America has already conserved nearly 400,000 acres, leveraged into connected wilderness, totaling 4 million acres, 
greater than the size of Connecticut. National Fish and Wildlife Foundation partnerships continue to grow among corporations, federal agencies, and individuals to deliver conservation excellence that can only be achieved by working together. We are leading new and innovative conservation investments, putting more money towards on-the-ground projects that have real long-lasting impact, and striving to increase efficiency and enhance return on our investments to make the best use of every conservation dollar, sustaining efforts for generations to come. These are partnerships that work, results that achieve, solutions that last. Be a part of the solution.